Today's Tech Tuesday is all about being smarter with tech. And by being smarter with tech, I mean being smarter when you buy it. And by being smarter when you buy it, I mean Black Friday deals. First things first, if you can hear the sound in the background or you hear the pitter patter of little animal feet, I'm doing laundry and there's a dog in here. Let's roll. Oh, what is up, internet world? My name is Larry G. And today, I'm gonna be talking about the things I got for Black Friday and just being smarter when you make tech purchases and tech moves. The first thing I wanna talk about is I copped the Google Home Mini from Best Buy for the low, low price of $30 when it normally retails for $50. Shazam! This was a selfish purchase, a selfish buy. I bought this for selfish reasons didn't really serve a purpose. I didn't really need it in my home, um, seeing as I rent an apartment. But I felt like it would be a cool addition. I'm always wanting to invest in and learn about the new tech. So I felt Google Home was the way to go. I already have a Chromecast and I've been using the bleep out of it for that. Cool purchase number one, I'm interested in learning uh, what all the Google Home Mini can do, things I can pair with, extra accessories I can buy to make it more useful throughout the home. It's already been really beneficial just being able to use my voice instead of having to pick up my phone. I know that's first world things and that's lazy and that's all these other things that my girlfriend talks about, but I like technology and I like where it's going and I'm interested to see what all I can do and accomplish with this in my life now. The second purchase that I made for Black Friday was, drum roll please. I don't know if you guys can see this screen, but it is an Amazon Fire tablet. Shazam! This is the seven inch tablet. And I copped this bad boy for the low, low price of $30. $30? Whatever, for the low, low price of $30. And you may be asking, if you got the Google Home, why'd you get an Amazon tablet? Or why'd you get an Amazon tablet after you got a Google Home? <laughs> Interfaces don't really matter to me. Also, you may be asking if I own an iPhone and a MacBook and Apple products, why would I invest in an Android tablet? The real reason is it was $30 as compared to whatever you want to spend on an iPad mini. Not really mad at Android, Google has been stepping up, and I'm actually a fan of jailbreaking things. Um, I never jailbreak my iPhone because that is my main phone and I can only afford one phone at a time. But as far as Android devices, this was 30 bucks. So if I break it, it's only 30 bucks. 30 bucks is a lot of money, but it's still only 30 bucks. Again, why would I get an Amazon tablet when it runs Fire OS? Well, if you guys are into hacking and jailbreaking and things that aren't exactly illegal, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think they're illegal. You can add the Google Play Store onto this tablet, and then it's just a and then it's just a regular Google tablet that you can do whatever you were gonna do on anything with anyway. So the main purpose of the tablet, I'll oh, check that out, I opened it. The main purpose of the tablet was to increase reading visibility. You guys see I wear glasses, I can't exactly read things um, that are far away or small. So this helps with reading visibility. Also, when I'm on my break at work, I like to get things done and I don't always wanna bring my computer with me. So I'm hoping that this will be a substitute to unplugging and replugging my computer. Also, I'm going on a trip in December, and I'm not sure how much I want to bring my laptop or open my laptop on the plane. So I'm thinking that this will be something that I can use instead. I have all the apps that I need on here now. I got Lightroom, CC, Evernote, Trello, Google Docs, Facebook, Instagram, Medium, YouTube, Tumblr, Anchor, Google Home, all the good stuff you need and would want in a tablet it's on here also amazon fire tablets are pretty durable i've seen a couple drop tests seen a couple reviews and as far as dropping them um they survive if you guys want me to do full reviews on the items that i've looked at and showed you today please leave a comment and a like 
down below. I would greatly appreciate those things. Just be smart about you guys' tech purchases leading up to the holidays. Um, don't be bamboozled. Don't be fooled. If you buy secondhand, make sure you test it before you buy it. If you cannot test it before you buy it, I wouldn't recommend you do it unless it's refurbished from an official retailer. Those are just a few tips or personal preferences that I like to use when buying tech secondhand. That's all I got. I hope you guys are safe and have a great holiday season. It's December coming up soon in a couple days. And I hope you guys have a very happy holidays. And I will be back next week with another video. Until then, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would have greatly appreciated it. Leave a comment down below. What did you cop for Black Friday or Cyber Monday or Small Business Saturday or any of these other sale holiday things that are going on? What kind of videos would you like to see? My name is Larry G and you guys can believe that.